Hello everyone, here we are again for another session of Seller's Choice Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a smart call to action on HubSpot. Consumers are inundated with marketing messages every day. A constant barrage of videos, images, and texts promise solutions to every possible problems. The result? An audience primed for decision fatigue and a frustrated, confused reader that is far less likely to become a paying client. This simple directive statement tells your prospective client what to do and where to go next, making the user journey crystal clear. An effective call to action eliminates confusion, allowing your website visitor to take the appropriate next steps. That might be to visit a certain page, or to book a call, or to read a specific article. Every call to action serves as a leverage point for your needs as a business. So let's walk you through and how to create one. So let's get started. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Log into HubSpot and go to the main dashboard. Click the Marketing tab and hover your mouse to the Lead Capture on the drop-down, then select CTAs. It should take you to the Call to Action page. You should see all the CTAs that were created on this list. Let us start creating one by clicking the Create CTA button located on the upper right. The simple CDA window should be on the right side. So you need to create a simple CDA first before you can make it smart. The first part of this page is where you can see how the CDA appears. You can either create your own custom button through this wizard or upload an image. The button content is where you can change the contents. When you make the edit, the changes will appear right away. You can also change the button style by clicking the drop down and you can also change the color as well. The customization is limited on this one, so if you want to design a complicated button, then you can always use the image button. You can also change the size of the button by expanding the advanced options. After you're done designing your button, click the next button below. Change the internal name of the CTA. You can name it anything. For the URL, redirect type, there are four options. You can choose between external website URL and indicate the website on where you want to direct your customers. You can also choose a HubSpot page that you already created. Meaning link is for your customers to be directed to any of your website features such as customer service or chat support. And file link is to automatically download a file. Choose the campaign that you want the CTA to be linked. After you have set everything up, click the save button. It will then take you back to the first page, but there are three buttons available at the bottom. Click the Create Smart Version button to make your simple CTA a smart CTA. Set up the rules of your CTA trigger. Select the rules type and configure it. You can set up the CTA to be exclusive for a certain device user. You can also set this up based on the visitor's demographic location. It is up to you. Just select the options appropriate. It will take you back again to the design phase. Just select the next button, or it's up to you if you want to edit something. The next page is just going to be the summary. Just click the finish button to finalize the CTA and launch it. You should see the new CTA on top of the list. So that is how you create a smart call to action button on HubSpot. Just so you know that we have a lot of tutorials and webinars on bits of advice on how to run and the applicable techniques for your e-commerce business. You can always visit our site at sellerschoice.agency and browse through our huge compilations of webinars, tutorials, and blogs. 
And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay tuned. See you soon.